Okay, hi. <laughs> um, I don't know how to start this. This is really like kind of a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So I'm just going to try to do my best to do it as quickly as possible. I don't have a lot of time on my camera or I'm not sh quite sure how much time I have to be honest. It's been a long time since I turned on this particular camera to make videos and I'm I'm really super scared about this whole thing but I'm really excited to try to strum up the courage that is needed to do this. I, I am going to be referring to my pad of notes here because I really don't know, um, I know what I'm going to say but I, I have you know just a little outline I'm going to probably refer to every once in a while so my eyes won't be locked onto the screen. Alright so, so the first thing, the first order of business is that it has been three years to the date that I am uploading this video that I posted my last video on this channel which is the Veltus Angel channel on YouTube and uh, a lot of things have happened uh, be in the, those three years and also I just kind of wanted to recap um, some of the things that led up to that point um, initially I started the channel because I really wanted to post a lot of experimental uh, video ideas and film uh, short films that I was doing, a lot of creative work. I love that stuff. I just love playing around with the idea of doing different photos and characters and seeing what I could create on my own with absolutely no training at all. And it looks like it. It's raw. It's, there's no big deal to it. Um, a very long, long time ago I created uh, oh yes, yeah, some of you some of you may remember uh, a character I had, the, the Ice Queen, in which I did kind of a series of, I wouldn't call them mm, films necessarily, but they were just like some mixture of video and, and, and a lot of pictures that were edited and just to try to create something of a storyline, but there really wasn't a storyline too. Um, it was kind of just developing her. Also, there was a black and white a short film if you will or you could even call it a skit I, it just has it's kind of quick and fast but it was one of my favorite projects to do I left and that was in 2010 so we're going back that far during that year I also discovered that I really enjoyed doing these kind of characters and these film projects and I wanted to do them here on YouTube um, one of the things that I wanted to do was also a web series that was a sci-fi low homemade you know kind of feel to it. You've got your kids in like a cardboard box and you're like pretending that it's a spaceship. You, you kind of cut it out to look like a spaceship and you have knobs and little things that you make out of um, paper and and discarded plastic. That kind of stuff. I wanted to make movies with that kind of stuff and it sounds crazy but it was it was something that was very interesting and fascinating to me and that I don't know if there's a genre that it's, it's called but I call it the homemade film genre and it's homemade sci-fi if you will or and it, it's also micro budgeted because you know we're really not working with like a whole lot of budget so while I was working on the kid adventures I realized a couple of things. One is that after I was done doing, I did a trailer and the first episode and they were really good. I really am proud of those things. Um, uh, but However, they weren't getting any traction at all and I was like, well, how can anybody like my stuff if they don't know who I am? So I began vlogging and vlogging seemed you know at first very intimidating but I used a thing called VEDA which is vlog every day in maybe it's April or August um, so I did April and I liked it so much I did it in August and I made a commitment to vlog every single day and that was in 2015 so 
uh, once we got to November of 2015, I got incredibly sick and it was kind of mysterious. No one, we still don't know what it was. Um, I still had the fire and the desire to want to make videos. So I just kind of reeled back and I started to deconstruct my idea of what it was that I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. So I began doing this one project that I absolutely am so proud that I started doing, which was the Retro Nerd Girl movie review channel that I created in June of 2016. And I've got about 70 movies that I've, I've reviewed up to this point uh, in, in uh, November of 2018. And it's, it's just so rewarding. Uh, I've grown a small audience of right now we're up to 500. And it's, it's so fulfilling because the people really love movies and they really want to talk about movies. They really love it. It taught me that I could be confident making content for people and I should just try to do this um, if this is truly a passion for me. Being in front of the camera was a really big step because you know when you're sick and you're feeling really bad and you're also getting older and things aren't looking the same way as they used to look like five ten years ago you're kind of feeling like oh wow I'm all washed up I'm too old most people who are on YouTube are all like 18 19 20 they're all gorgeous I, I just I just couldn't like imagine myself really being in front of the camera so right now uh, why am I back well, it's part of it is because of that realization that I can be in front of the camera. It's okay for me to be in front of the camera. Criticism is a big deal of it, right? People are afraid that people won't like them. Well, I've had a lot of criticism on the movie review channel. So that kind of built up a little bit of, you know, get me like, yeah, you know, got me a little tougher to be able to take a little bit of the, the criticisms that may happen. Uh, on YouTube and on top of that I really feel like I am formulating something really special here so here's what I want to do I want to really dive into my creative spirit and create these stories and movies and and short um, you know film series that I want to do and it's going to take time. I mean, it may take as long as five years, but I want to make that happen. This is also all going to fall under a, a business that I want to create. So that way, this can actually make, um, you know, money somehow and can like finance uh, more projects to be made. So it's really about just doing the research, learning what it takes to learn, and that is the journey I'm going to be going on in the next few years. Especially gonna, you know, set forth that launching in 2019. I want to, um, I know this is really kind of weird, but it's a journey I hope that you'll come with me on as I kind of figure out how to turn a hobby or an idea into an actual business. How do you create, how do you take something creative and actually turn it into a product that people will buy or that, that you can monetize and that works as a business model. So I, I hope you'll join me. It'll be a lot of fun. If you're, you're one of my subscribers, I really am completely and totally thankful and grateful that you've stuck in there even though I didn't make videos to see what happens in the story and um, for the people who are just watching this for the first time do join the journey it 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 will be um, I will be posting regularly and uh, if you too are looking to figure out how to turn an idea into a business, um, maybe this could be helpful for you. Maybe we can help each other. Who knows?
All right, so um, that is it. I will see you in my very next video. It will be coming up very shortly. And, um, you know, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.